everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and once again we are going to compare a modern G.I. Joe action figure to its vintage equivalent. Uh, and this time we are looking at Torpedo. Uh, version 1 of Torpedo, of course, came out in 1983, and he, he was G.I. Joe's first Navy SEAL. In fact, the first Navy personnel for the 1980s G.I. Joe uh, at all. And this is the 2008 25th anniversary version a Lieutenant Torpedo. Uh, named Lieutenant Torpedo, despite the fact that he's not a lieutenant, he is a warrant officer, so that's weird. Version 1 of Torpedo from 1983, the second wave of 1980s G.I. Joe figures, was equipped as a Navy frogman in a wetsuit. He had a spear gun for shooting underwater. Uh, he had a backpack that was an oxygen rebreather, and he had a couple swim fins, and that was it for accessories. Uh, he was very clearly meant to be a diver, even though he was a Navy Navy SEAL, he was not at all equipped to uh, fight on land. Uh, and one knock that I had against this figure when I reviewed him is that his mask was not removable. Uh, and that's something that I really would have preferred to have a removable mask. Modern Torpedo has the same basic color scheme. He has that gray and black wetsuit, just like the original. Now, on his accessories, um, he has uh, basically modern updates of those original accessories, and he has a few others. Uh, he has that spear gun, very similar to the original one. Uh, in fact, it's so much alike, it's really hard to tell the difference between the two. This is the modern spear gun, and this is the vintage spear gun, and as you can see, it's almost ex an exact remold of the same accessory. There's some slight differences. Uh, these lines right here are just very slightly different. And on version one's spear gun, there's a little trigger sculpted on there that is absent on the new one. Other than that, these accessories are so close to identical that you could almost swap them out and not tell the difference. In addition to the spear gun, Modern Torpedo has a few other accessories. He has a removable knife. Uh, in a holster there, and he has a removable pistol on this side with a really long barrel. It fits in there pretty securely. Uh, and he has a modern take on that old rebreather backpack, uh, that old rebreather tank. Uh, nice colors on there, looks really good, and one nice bonus is it actually has a soft rubbery hose that links the backpack to his mask, and that mask is removable, and that is very nice. You can remove the mask, you could not do that on the version 1 figure. Modern Torpedo also has swim fins and they are very similar to version 1's swim fins. They're not exactly the same mold but they are very close and of course modern figures unlike the vintage figures had figure stands. They came with figure stands and this has a code name Lieutenant Torpedo on it. The swim fins are made in such a way that he can connect to the figure stand while wearing the fins. Of course modern figures have a lot more articulation than vintage figures but in the case of Torpedo, that's really important. One of the problems I had with version 1 of Torpedo is that since he didn't have ankle articulation, uh, he had to swim with his, uh, with his swim fins facing down, and that did not look very natural. However, on modern Torpedo, if I can just pull him off the figure stand, does have ankle articulation. He can move his toes, point his toes downward, and that is a much more natural swimming pose. Both the modern and the vintage figure came with file cards and these file cards are very nearly identical. The portrait of Torpedo is almost the same. It has been modified a little bit, uh, updated slightly, um, but uh, the text of the file cards are very close to the same. Uh, just a little bit of rephrasing on the new file card, but other than that uh, we have essentially the same character, the same background, the same everything on the new file card that we had on the vintage file card. So which do I prefer, the vintage or the modern figure? Well, normally I go with the vintage figure because nostalgia is a large part of why I collect G.I. Joe. However, I had some specific problems with the vintage torpedo that uh, the modern version of torpedo actually fixes. It fixes the ankle articulation, uh, it has a removable mask, which is something I always wanted on version 1 of torpedo, and I gotta say, when a figure, an update, fixes the problems that I had with the 
field when I got to give it props for that. So this is a rare occasion when I'm going to say I do prefer the modern figure over the vintage. Now the modern figure has all the problems that all other modern figures have. Uh, it's really meant for uh, display rather than for a child's plaything. Um, also it has that really long stretched out uh, proportions that modern figures have. Uh, but nonetheless, hey, you know, they did what I wanted them to do on the first version. And really that's, uh, that's a good update, an excellent update to Torpedo. That was a very quick compare and contrast between 1983 Torpedo and 2008 Torpedo. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of these figures. Do you prefer the vintage Torpedo or the modern Torpedo? Thanks for watching and keep checking back with this channel for full vintage G.I. Joe Tour reviews. I will see you next time.